Hey guys, so welcome to part three of three, I guess, of the Shopify tutorial um, for ReMAs. And on this last part, we're going to show you how to embed a ReMAs knowledge base in line um, in terms of your site's content. Uh, so here's the test store that we have. So let's say you want to create like another page here next to About Us, and it's for the FAQ or sometimes known as the knowledge base. So we're going to create a page here. We're going to embed the knowledge base and let's take a look at what that looks like first. So we have a knowledge base kind of, um, not, it's not very well filled out yet, but um, if you do it correctly, uh, not like what I'm doing here, if you have actual articles and topics, it'll look a lot better. Uh, but we have, uh, you know, three topics right now and we're going to embed it into the site. Okay. So let's start with your Shopify account. Let's go to your online store. And we're going to go to pages we're just going to want to create like a new page. So we'll click add page. We'll call this FAQ because that's what most people are familiar with. And we'll click save first. Okay. And we want to make sure that this actually shows up here to do that. We'll need to go to, to navigation. Okay. And we're going to want to edit this menu. So this we can add the FAQ right beneath about us. So I'm going to click edit menu. I'm going to add a new menu item. I'm going to call this FAQ and it's going to be a page and it's going to be the FAQ page. Okay. We're going to save that menu. Let's take a quick look. Okay. So that shows up here. That's perfect. Now let's go back to the page and to embed the knowledge base. So, Let's take a look at the reamaze.com slash developer menu. Okay, so the embeddable knowledge base is actually inline embedding. Okay, so you're going to have to just, you know, take this and install it onto the page. Um, so we're going to copy that. Okay, and it, this is it's going to be the same for everybody. So just go ahead and copy this because reamaze has already been installed on your Shopify store um, in the previous two tutorials. So you don't have to worry about that. But we're going to want to show HTML here. Okay. Now you could have other content, um, you know, in the FAQ, you can type a few lines of text, welcome them to the, to the knowledge base or whatever, but it's in line. So it's going to be a sequential order, right? So we're going to go to the HTML and we're just going to paste this. Uh, we have, we don't have any of the con content right now, so that's perfectly fine. We're going to save it. Okay. There is no need to identify the brand because as I said, everything has already been installed. So that's saved. We're going to give it this a refresh. Okay, so now technically when we click on FAQ, we're going to see the embedded knowledge base. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. So um, the, FA, the, the embedded knowledge base shows up here. Uh, and you can obviously customize this as, you know, as much as you want you through HTML and CSS. And we have a different tutorial video for that. But if you need any help with it, you can reach us at support at reamaze.com. But, you know, basically you go to settings, you go to brands. Make sure it's the right brand that you're editing. Okay, so this is the Reamaze 2 brand that we're demoing, and we're going to want to change the. Uh, let's just for for safety sakes, we're gonna go to see all settings. Okay, and we're gonna do the hosted KB site settings, and we're gonna change. You can do the appearances here. You can do text customization, um, and then you can go to custom header and footer. This is where you edit the public site, which is the KB's header, footer, and CSS styles, and. That way you can customize this to look a lot better uh, and to fit into your site a lot better. But this tutorial just shows you how to embed the knowledge base and it's super simple. Just go to reamaze.com slash developer, go to embedded knowledge base and just copy this little line and paste it into your Shopify page. Okay, that's it. And if you have any questions, again, let us know at support at reamaze.com. Thanks.